So, you know I'm a big fan of Botox, and you say that you have a cream. It's a peptide, what is it called? Biopeptide? Biopeptides. That r you rub on like crow's feet, forehead, that can, it has the same mechanism as Botox. It has the same mechanism of action like Botox. Is that right? Yes. And it works? And it works very well. And um, like I, those, those are the, the biopeptides that we use. We use high concentration of them. Okay, so you make these as a, as a prescription? Yes. Okay, so you get like a dermatologist or a, your doctor writes this prescription. Yes. You make this. Okay, in, uh, okay so go ahead. So we make, the, um, we make the prescription based on we make the prescription based on what the doctor prescribed. So if the doctor wants to get their patient on a biopeptide, they just need to write it out, and we're going to formulate it just for that patient. Are there any side effects? They are cosmetics. They are, they are cosmetics. We just use concentration that is, very ter that is therapeutic, that is, is, it, doesn't, it, it doesn't take a long time for it to work. Okay. It's hard to believe that this works, by the way. It does work. See, because Botox, my joke is, you know, you got death, taxes, and Botox are the three <laughs> guarantees in life. Botox works, right? And if you do too much Botox, you're frozen. Can the same thing happen with this cream? Yeah, because it causes farming. So farming. If, you, if, you, if you smear the whole thing on your, the whole jar on your face. You're frozen. You, you're gonna, it's going to, it's going to farm the skin too much. Now, Botox takes about a week, five, five days, seven days to kind of freeze that muscle. This is happening faster because it's a daily cream? No, I wouldn't say it's faster than Botox. I wouldn't say that. But this is something you want to use in conjunction with okay. Botox. But, but, but for somebody that doesn't want Botox at all, they can, they can rub this cream on and the same thing like five days later, they're going to start getting a frozen or a freezing action of the muscles. Yeah, I wouldn't say five days. It, could, it could take up to six weeks. Oh. It could okay. take up to six weeks for you to, because what he's doing is actually, uh, I've seen patients that have a lot of fine lines mm -hmm. around their high leads, and uh, they use down their fine lines or right, by in their, right on their face, and over a period of time, that fine line starts disappearing. But, it, it, well, the reason why Botox stops the fine lines is because that action, the mechanism, the action yes. stops. So is that the same thing? It has the same mechanism of action like Botox. So it's stopping... So it may take a little bit longer. And what about, yeah, it's, how much is it, by the way? Because Botox could be, you know, 450, 550, 750, depending on uh, how you about, to. Uh, about, uh, this is about uh, $100, $100, $100. And how long will that, how much? That uh, could last them up to maybe two, three months. Two, three months. Yes. So it's about more than half bucks. off of uh, Botox. Yes. Well, the main thing is that you're saying it works. It does work. But if you want an instant stop, then you stick with Botox. Okay, now I know they're injecting armpits for sweating. Women that are you know, models or whatever, they're wear wearing little outfits. Does it work for that area, for sweating? Yes, stop it, the sweat? it does, it does okay. work. There, but there's other things that we, could, we do that actually works for sweating, excessive sweating. We do make a, a glycopyrrolate in a roll-on. Oh, is okay? that right? From the vid feedback I've had from prescriptions that we've dispensed to patients, they come back that it works for them. They like it. And uh, that's the only way we validate what we do. Because the doctor writes the prescription, the doctors don't get the feedback. They come back to us and tell us that. If it's oh, working. If it's working. If it's not working, then we'll contact the doctor and tell the doctor that what you prescribe for your patient is not working. We've got to switch to something else. So the doctor will add some, some, make some modification to that prescription, and boom, it starts working again for the patient.